Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fantastic. Thanks for joining me. Today we are starting the Holiday Head Start series. Um, we're continuing from last year, so this is card number seven, and we're using a stamp set from Spellbinders. It's a stamp and die combo, and it's called Christmas Joy. Super cute little set. It has a fun kind of a wonky Christmas tree. And then it also has a coordinating die. The sentiment in here says wishing you Christmas joy. So we're going to jump in and I'm going to stamp this. It is a red rubber stamp, so I'm going to bring in my Misty and remove the mouse pad. I did want to tell you guys that this stamp set here is actually on sale at Spellbinders right now. Um, Spellbinders is having their huge semi-annual um, warehouse sale, which means there's $1 items, $2 items, $3 items, $5 items, and then 10 plus. Lots of great deals, guys. Um, I don't know if you missed it last year or if you did a little shopping last year, but you know how fabulous these are and how much you can get for such um, great prices. So let's do some stamping. I'm going to stamp on some Fun Stamper's Journey color splash sheets. These are actually, it's a pack that is 20 sheets that are A2 in size, and then they're 140 pound cold pressed watercolor sheets. And they're on the wider side too. I compared it there to my card base. So you can see they're a little bit lighter than my um, Canson XL watercolor cardstock. We'll just place these on our panel. We're gonna close the lid and pick up our images. And then I'm gonna bring in some um, first mark ink. We're gonna ink up our images really well. I thought we would um, watercolor. And so we're gonna heat emboss with gold embossing powder to kind of contain that watercolor. Before I actually stamp this though, I am going to treat my paper. <laughs> I had my powder bag off to the side and I thought we better go over that um, just so we don't have no uh, embossing powder stragglers. Make a good press and then we're going to take this out of the Misty. We're going to add some gold embossing powder. Just bring in my little drawer here and also my little spoon and we'll do a little scooping over our panel. The sentiment will fit the, the width of your A2 size card, which makes it really nice. And then the Christmas tree is actually a pretty large size, so it's going to make a great focal point for my card today. So once my image and sentiment are melted, I think they look so pretty, we are going to go ahead and bring in, I'm going to bring in an acrylic block to do um, my smushing on. I have my little Distress Ink Cubes, and I am... Um, going to use four of them and you can see they're kind of soft colors. This first color here is uh, antique linen. Second color is bundled sage. Third color we're going to be using uh, shaded lilac and then fourth color is tattered rose. We'll just smush a little bit on our block. Now I'm going to be using a water brush to add the color and it makes it super easy. I did want to share with you guys, um, well actually these water brushes are on sale at the Spellbinder shop as part of their uh, warehouse sale. They're $2, guys. Um, Fun Stamper's Journey has the um, uh, blending brushes and they are, they have a small, a medium, and a large. This is how I fill them up. I use my Distress Sprayer. It fits, the nozzle fits perfect in these and then I just um, spray inside there and it fills it up with no mess at all. So that's a little tip and trick that I learned it was super handy. But yeah, these water brushes are on sale for two bucks each, guys. So for six dollars, you can get three different sizes for the price of one you would normally pay for. And they're great brushes too. I use them all the time. Okay, I am gonna grab some baby wipes here. <laughs> I can't find my little towel drawer. And so I, there, it's probably in the laundry. So I'm bringing in baby wipes to wipe my brush. But um, we're gonna start off with our star so that we're going to be using the antique linen and I added some water which I probably didn't need to um, because my, my star got really saturated so I'm just going to use the, the baby wipe and pick up some of that and then redo it. You don't need too much for this size of a star. Okay next we're going to bring in bundled sage pick up a little bit of that with my brush and then we're going to go over the first layer. You can see there's three different decorative layers of the tree and I thought we'd go with some soft colors. Um, I wanted to make a really glistening background and so I thought soft colors go great with gold and glisten. Glistening. <laughs> so there is my bundled sage. Next for my next color we're going to go skip the middle and go directly to the bottom with the tattered rose. 
and I'm just picking up the color with my water brush and spreading it out until the whole um, entire bottom layer is filled in and then after we have this done we're gonna go we're gonna go to our middle layer now I wanted a orangey creamy color so I'm mixing tattered rose with my antique linen to create kind of an orangey corally color it's kind of hard to tell on camera um, but it's like a real soft yellowy orange almost golden let's say I'm gonna add that to the middle layer so you can tell they're um, nice and soft okay now for the tree trunk you could um, completely use your brown if you wanted to but I'm gonna go outside the box and use my shaded lilac we're gonna have a purple tree trunk <laughs> so I'm just gonna ink up my brush here I'm wiping it off really good because I didn't want to transfer any of that I think purple and that orangey color would probably make a muddy mess but I'm going to add my shaded lilac to the tree trunk and then for the little tree skirt on the very bottom I'm actually keeping the shaded lilac and then I'm mixing it with the bundled sage so I'm getting a bluey greeny color and then we're going to just add that to the scalloped area and then I think that's great now on each one of these layers there's different details and so I thought we would add just a little bit of different color to each layer you don't have to you could skip it but um, I'm going to take my shaded lilac and go over the diamonds on this very bottom layer just to give it a little bit of a variation when it dries it dries back it pulls back pretty well and so it's kind of a very light um, touch but it's just something extra okay after we have this one done I'm gonna do the same thing and we're gonna add a little detail to the middle layer there's little polka dots I'm gonna fill those in and also these little diamonds up here so I think this looks fabulous I'm gonna use my heat gun and then um, dry my panel and then this way we can use the coordinating die to die cut it out which makes it really nice because you see those little single swirlies on the left and right the die just cuts it out perfect I'm just gonna tape this over my Christmas tree and then I'll run this through the die cut machine now as I do this I'm also going to take my paper trimmer and trim my sentiment I'm trimming it to a little bit less than one inch sentiment strip and again this is going to fit the length of my my card base so there's my tree so pretty next I thought for my background um, I would bring in some sparkle now I have some um, it's called sparkle uh, sparkle cuts it's glitter and it's like a chunky glitter and it's iridescent so it's super pretty but I thought um, I would adhere the sparkle cuts to my card using my white liner tape now um, white liner tape is a quarter inch thick and so I'm gonna add some stripes to my background with this tape now if you guys aren't into glitter I know a lot of people just can't handle glitter <laughs> to me for me it doesn't bother me but if you are one of those people what I suggest you do since these are one quarter inch um, pieces of tape you could trim down some anti shed or shed free glitter cardstock and just adhere them in the same sections that I'm hearing adhering um, the tape to and that would um, would be an alternative if you wanted to okay I have them evenly spaced I just evenly spaced them using the grid lines on my mat I'm gonna use my scissors and just trim off the excess we'll just trim them off and after we have this trimmed off I'm gonna use my bone folder and we're gonna just reinforce that tape so it's stuck down really good just gonna go over each one of these tape pieces I'm going to use my craft pick and we're going to remove the release paper so this is ready to go and then I'm going to bring in some scratch paper and we are going to get to glittering um, the sparkle cuts is like I said a real pretty golden iridescent and I thought it'd make a sparkly background I'm just going to cover my entire card cardstock and I actually didn't tell you guys but the, sh the size of my panel is slightly smaller than my card base so it's four inches by five and a quarter 
I'm just going to use my finger and just kind of rub that glitter in there. And then I'm going to tap it off really good and clean up my mess. And so we have a nice sparkly background. And again, if you wanted to use some anti-shed glitter, I think that's another alternative. I'm going to, since my tape was on my desk, I'm going to go ahead and add some tape behind my panel. And then I'm going to add this to my card base, which I wanted to share with you guys too. Now this is not part of the Spellbinder sale, but I did pick these up. Um, and I wanted to share with you what these are. They have, a Spellbinders has a pack of card bases. They have side folding and top folding. I picked up the top folding and there's 25 card bases in a pack. And they're about, I think, $6.99 or $7.99 for a pack, which makes it great. Um, but they're 80 pounds. They're not a heavyweight cardstock. They're 80 pound. They're a Nina Classic Crest Solar White cover cardstock. So it's a great cardstock that you could cope a color on if you wanted to. And then they also have coordinating envelopes that are a great quality, guys. They're heavy duty and they're just, um, they're not the cheapy envelopes and they come 25 in a pack too. So I just thought I would share that, um, check them out and share them with you guys. But they're um, nice alternative if you guys want pre-scored and folded envelopes and nice uh, or pre-scored and folded card bases and nice envelopes. There you go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to flip over my Christmas tree. We're going to add foam adhesive behind it. And then we're going to go ahead and add the sentiment, which I trimmed down again. And then I'm going to add my tree, which is kind of off-centered. we got to fix that. Now, since we have a lot of sparkle, I'm not going to do very much more to this, but I did want to add something. So I'm bringing in some mini paperclip elements. These are from Fun Stamper's Journey. Now these guys, I, I mentioned these before when I used them the last time. Um, I paid full price for them, but um, I think they're like $6, but they are right now on sale for $1. All these paperclips, uh, there's a hundred of them in here, guys. You get a hundred of them for a buck. So... I'll link them down below if you want to check it out. And then um, I have some twine. This twine is um, peaches and cream and it goes perfect, perfect with a tattered rose. And so I'm going to just grab a piece. And this twine, by the way, is actually $1 right now at Spellbinder Shop too. <laughs> so fabulous deals, I'm telling you guys, because most of my twines, um, I get at the Spellbinders and I pay full price for them. So you guys... Um, you guys check out the sale. I think this the dollar is great. Can't beat it. <laughs> but I'm going to open it up. I added it to my little uh, paper clip. I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to tie a bow at the very top. I just threaded it through. It's easier for me to tie the bow once I have my paper clip attached to the sentiment here. Um, this way I can just adjust it um, since it is a little paper clip. And I think that's going to be great. I'm going to trim the tails. And I think that looks cute. I think just added a little pop of color down there. I think that worked out perfect. Okay, we are going to bring in some Journey Glaze. It's like a glossy accent. I'm going to add it to the star. And I kind of made a little bit of a mess, went outside the lines, but that's okay. <laughs> um, just going to fix that with my tool in one here. And then I wanted to add a little sparkle to the Christmas tree too. I have gold on there, but I wanted to add a little bit more. So I'm bringing in my glue. And I'm going to add some dots of glue to the middle layer here. And then I'm also going to add dots of glue to the very bottom layer. There's little polka dots on my Christmas tree in that middle layer. I'm going to dot those two. In real life, guys, this card turned out so pretty. It was so soft and so glistening. And then the colors just worked out so well with it. Um, I hope the pictures capture that, but it's just so soft and pretty. Okay, I'm going to bring in some scratch card stock. Now, if you ideally you'd want to add glitter to your tree before you have it, your card already completed, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and add glitter over my glue and also my glossy accents on the star. And then um, I'm just going to flip it over and give it a good tap, tap off all that excess glitter. And I think that looks so sparkly and pretty. <laughs> I just love the way this turned out. Okay, now my card is finished, but I did want to share with you another thing um, that was on sale that over at Spellminder Shop. Now I've gotten questions on how I store my cards after they're completed. My card's still a little bit wet, 
but I'm just gonna take one of my new envelopes, which are great quality again, guys, and I'm gonna put them together, and then I'm gonna bring in some of these um, cello bags. These cello bags are from Fun Stabber's Journey, and they are great quality, too. Um, I've bought some on Amazon where they're, where they're thinner, but these are thicker, so, um, Great for storing cards when you need them. Christmas is a while away, so this will protect your card um, for when you do get ready to use it. But they slide right in. You remove the release paper, it's self-closing, um, and it stores your cards beautifully for an A2 size card. Now these, I, I have two packs right now that I spent uh, $6.95 for. Um, but the stamp set, let me tell you this, the stamp set is $3, the cello bags were $2, Paper clips and the twine were one dollar. Great deal, huh? <laughs> but anyway, I just thought I'd share. When I find a good deal, I want to share it with you guys. But um, the links are down below if you want to check it out. But I hope you enjoy my project. Stay tuned for card number eight. Have a fabulous day, and we will see you soon. Bye bye.